Okay, let's bring in New York Congresswoman Nicole Meliotakis and New York State Assemblyman Angel Angelo Santa Barbara. Uh, first to you, Congresswoman. By the way, it's good to have you both back on. You know, this could happen Thanks, within please. within weeks, Congresswoman. Um, the state attorney general is saying this is about the law. It's about truth and integrity. Cuomo allegedly targeted women whose average age was just 22 years old. They were right out of college. They're younger than his daughters. Yeah. Completely inappropriate, and it seems uh, very illegal. And what uh, the House committee did today was they took a look at um, all, they're looking at all aspects of this investigation, right? They're not just looking at sexual harassment, but they're also looking at documents pertaining to the nursing home scandal, the 15,000 deaths that occurred due to the decisions made by the governor. They're also looking at the book deal that the governor did, uh, it, it seems, on state time using state employees. Uh, so that's that. they're looking at everything, not just the attorney general's report. And they're also having, uh, you know, Davis Polk, which is an independent firm that's looking at everything. Uh, so they're, they're reviewing many, many, many more documents than just what the attorney general was furnishing. So I think this is going to be a pretty in-depth and, and very, very thorough investigation into the governor. It seems to me that he's headed for impeachment. As I understand it, he, they have the votes in the assembly to impeach the governor. Uh, they, only need seven, they only need 76 votes to go forward. Um, yeah. And as you know, well over 82 of just the Democrats alone have called for his resignation. Yeah, and you know, also the use of state health workers like doctors and nurses who work for the state to do VIP testing of his family and friends, that's up there too. So, you know, it's a great point that the Congresswoman just made, uh, uh, Assemblyman Santa Barbara. Reports coming in that Governor Cuomo, that he's trying to cut a deal with top state officials. I, I don't know if you heard about this, but the reports are that he's promising not to seek a fourth term. He won't seek to be reelected if impeachment talks are scuttled, if you stop impeachment. Have you heard about that? Yes, uh, that's a report that I heard uh, just just uh, hours ago that I saw that come in. It's almost unbelievable uh, that he would uh, now uh, try to make some kind of deal. Uh, impeachment is moving forward. He's not getting out of it. He's just trying to buy more time. Uh, he's been trying to do that all along. He's been trying to just stay in office as long as he can. But at the same time, he's been using government resources to try and interfere with an investigation that he asked for. He asked for the AG's invest, uh, investigation. He asked for that report. And now he's trying to discredit that report. He's using a taxpayer-funded website to put his lawyers on a few days ago to try and discredit his accusers, minimize his actions, continue to go after the, a the AG's report. Of course, they didn't contest anything in the report. They just talked about the process. But at the, at the end of the day, we're going to draw our own conclusions, not based on anything he says or does. And at this point, let me just say, I called yeah. for his resignation last year, but we are way beyond resignation. We need to move forward with impeachment and make sure that he can never run for office again. His crimes are too egregious. They're too disgusting. He's done things that are way beyond, mm -hmm. beyond, uh, way beyond what we're talking about here. You know, scores of Democrats, Congresswoman, including the president, <clears throat> Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, and the entire New York delegation say he should leave. You know, to uh, Assemblyman Santa Barbara's point, Cuomo's legal team had lots to say to attack his accusers and attack the New York <clears throat> State Attorney General and investigators. But watch this. When his lawyer was confronted over his targeting, alleged targeting, of a state trooper who was in her 20s, uh, he targeted her, allegedly. The lawyers then didn't have an answer. Watch this. Hi, uh, a woman identified as trooper number one alleges that the governor ran his finger down her spine and said, hey, you. And in another instance, he touched her stomach um, from her belly button over to the portion of her hip where she carries her gun. Do any of you have any response to those allegations? I haven't seen any in any of your written materials or statements thus far. Um, I want to mention two things about that. The first is that um, the governor will address that allegation himself. All right, we haven't heard him address it. So they really, so to to the assemblyman's point, Congresswoman, when they when they're put on the carpet and say respond to that, what is the answer? They, it's typically bullying or dodging or blaming somebody else. What do you say? A absolutely. The governor is trying to discredit everyone here. And it's unbelievable that after an attorney general was able to corroborate the stories of 11 accusers, that the governor still continues to diminish, diminish them. 
and try to discredit them publicly. It truly is a disgrace. And the governor is the one who, by the way, uh, toughens New York's sexual harassment laws. He actually was the one who required sexual harassment training for all the members and state elected officials. And then, apparently, he never actually completed his own. He had a staff member do it. So the governor is the one yeah. who is really, really needs to answer these accusations. And I think that the, the, the story with the state trooper is actually one of the most egregious ones, because this is someone who was pro uh, protecting him. Got and he it. took advantage of that. Let's watch the Albany sheriff on the Cuomo team trying to intimidate people. He's saying, that's not going to happen to me. You can't intimidate me or coerce me. Watch this. Is it safe to assume that you are protected as far as retaliation from the administration? Or do you think that there is a chance that the administration, being the Cuomo administration, would retaliate against you as there have been ongoing rumors of that kind of behavior? I'm the county sheriff. I'm not going to be intimidated. I'm not going to be coerced. That would not play out well for anybody. Seems like a big seat. Well, he's not going to be coerced. What do you say to that? He's saying, you can't intimidate me. What do you say? Uh, is that for me, Liz? Yeah, that's for you, Assemblyman. Sorry about that. Oh, yes. Well, uh, yes, it's okay. Uh, he, uh, he, clearly thinks, uh, he clearly thinks he's above the law. Uh, as the congresswoman said, the fact that he, he, he groped the state trooper, the fact that he's trying to intimidate people, uh, the fact that he continues to do his go government resources to do that shows that he thinks he's above the law. He, he uh, championed a lot of these laws, and now he thinks they don't apply to him. Uh, how long do you think it would take for a, a member of the legislature to be thrown out of office if he did any of the things, if he or she did any of the things that the governor is being accused of here? Not very long. Yeah. We've seen it in the past. People removed from office for any of the things that he's being right. accused of. And yet, it's an embarrassment that he is still in office at this point. Yeah, you know, this is also about giving voice to the voiceless, Congresswoman. It's about women who fear being retaliated against. We have this story coming in. Roberta Kaplan, she's an attorney, a co-founder of Time's Up Legal Defense Fund, <clears throat> who's re representing women who are sexually harassed. She has resigned from that organization. She was mentioned in the state AG report as signing off on and approving a letter and an op-ed written by Andrew Cuomo and, and his team to discredit Cuomo accuser Lindsay Boylan. So, you know, when you see that happening, what does this t tell you about the state of this, the Me Too movement? You know, it, it, honestly, uh, there's obviously some hypocrisy and double standards. The reality is that the governor was very quick to call for others to resign, including three assembly members of his own party who were accused of sexual harassment before any investigation was even taken place, as well as, uh, you remember, the, the attorney general, Schneiderman, who was uh, accused by an ex-girlfriend of assault. And so the governor has to resign at this point, and if he doesn't resign, he will be impeached. I think that's the bottom line. I've said it all along that it would be either by criminal conviction by prosecution by um, by resignation or at the ballot box. And it seems more and more likely that it's going to be impeachment uh, because the governor just seems to think he's above the law and that these standards don't apply to him. But you're right about him bullying. That has always been a tactic that Governor Cuomo has been known for, bullying, coercion, trying to threaten other members. And we saw Assemblyman Ron Kim stand up against him, and then he was even threatened uh, when he spoke out against his uncle dying in a nursing home. So the, I think Got most it. of the people in Albany have had enough, and they're, they're, they're done with Andrew Cuomo, and it's time to move on. We have a very okay. pressing matters in this state right now, and, and we just need Got a new it. governor who can lead. Thank you. Thank you, Congresswoman Nicole Meliotakis. Come back soon. Also, Assemblyman Angela Santa Barbara. It's good to see you both. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.